Hi there, welcome to the Explorian. This is Didi and I am excited to present to you a brand new poster illustration. In today's tutorial, we will be designing a social cause poster. Our primary focus will be on removing the sky from the image and implementing the double exposure technique along with some typographic style. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards all of you who have subscribed to our channel thanks to your support. We have achieved over 250 subscribers while I am recording this video. I am aware that the initial phase of any channel is the toughest and staying motivated and focused is crucial. Your encouragement and support have been instrumental in helping me push through this phase. I assure you that all my efforts will be geared towards improving the content and viewing experience of this channel so that I can deliver what you subscribe for. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start off by opening a new document and selecting our canvas which will be again poster A4 and click on create. Let's prepare our background first, for that we will drag our image onto the canvas and resize it holding down the Alt or Option key on the keyboard. It will resize it from the center. But if you can see, after resizing, the grains in the texture of the image has got enlarged and I don't want that. I want the texture to be smaller, so we will press Ctrl or Command Z to undo the step and once again bring in the image and this time make it a bit smaller. But now, so much space of our canvas is blank and we have to fill it up with the same texture. How will you do that? Let me show you a cool trick. First select the layer and right click on it and then click rasterize. Remember, you have to rasterize the layer otherwise the trick will not work. Go to magic wand tool and click on the blank space of the canvas. It will make a selection of it. Now go to select and then come to modify and then click on expand. Here we will enter the number of pixels we want our selection to expand. I will keep it at 40. You can select any number you want depending on your image and hit OK. See the area of the selection is now expanded. Now go to edit and then fill and here make sure content aware is selected and rest you can leave it as it is and press OK and wait for the magic to happen. And now you have your whole canvas filled with the textured background. Let's lock the layer so that we don't move it accidentally. Let's brighten up it a little bit and for doing that let's create a levels adjustment layer and adjust it a little, not much, just a little and now our background is ready. Now we will bring the image of the subject and this time our subject will be a tree and for this we will be using a very different technique for background removal because here if we use quick selection tool and click on the select subject button you can see most of the inside areas are left out. These areas are very critical and it is not practically possible to do it manually. So what we will do is go to the image layer and select it and click on the channels. Here we will find 4 channels RGB, red, green and blue. Our job is to click on this one by one and find the one which has got the best distinction between the subject and the background. So you can clearly see the blue channel has got the best contrast. Just click and hold the blue channel and drop it here to make a duplicate of it and then press Ctrl or Command L to open the levels and play with the sliders here. Our aim is to simply make the subject as much possible black and the background white. But don't overdo this because it will fry away the edges and you will lose the details. Find the sweet spot which will work best for you. Hit OK when you are satisfied. And now holding down the Ctrl or Command button, click on the icon here and it will make a selection. Go back to the layers tab and you will find the subject layer will be selected. Click on the layer mask and then click Ctrl or Command I to inverse the mask. See how beautifully the mask is created. Rest of the unwanted areas we will mask it manually. For that select the brush tool. Brush will be hard round brush, opacity and flow 100% and foreground color is black. We will paint over the areas to hide behind the mask. Adjust your brush size by pressing left and right second bracket keys. Now we change our brush to soft round brush and paint here to get some soft edges. You can press the X key to change between black and white foreground colors. Black for hiding and white for revealing. And our first subject is ready. Let's rename it as tree. If you want to check whether the mask is okay or not, just turn off the visibility of the background layers and then add a solid adjustment layer, make it dark and bring it below the subject layer. 
everything seems fine here. Let's delete it and move on to the next step. Let's turn out the visibility of the tree layer for the time being and bring in our second image and we will basically remove the sky from this which is the background here. For doing that we will be repeating the same technique as earlier. For this case we don't have to be so precise as it will be a small part of our total composition and moreover we will also be adding some adjustment layers later on. Now that our sky removal is done, let's resize it as per our need. We will be turning on the visibility of the tree layer and also rename this layer as cityscape. Now we will be aligning our cityscape layer onto the tree layer and for that we will be bringing down the opacity of the cityscape layer so that the tree layer is visible. When it's done, bring back the opacity to 100%. Next, we'll be making a duplicate copy of the cityscape layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Okay, before that, let's convert all these layers into smart object and you know by now how to do that. Turn off the visibility of the top cityscape layer and we will clip it the original cityscape layer with the tree layer by holding down the Alter Option key and click in between these two layers. Now select the clip cityscape layer and we will create a layer mask by clicking here and then take the brush tool, adjust our brush size and this time we will use a soft round brush. Foreground color should be black and we will bring down the flow to around 50% and we will paint over this areas like this. You can adjust the flow time to time as per your need. Now turn on the visibility of the top cityscape layer and also create a layer mask of it. And now we are going to make a selection of the tree layer and how we will do that. Just hold down the control or command button and click on the tree layer icon here and it will make the selection. Now we will invert the selection by pressing control or command I and paint over these areas. Again inverse the selection to paint on the inside. Let's refine it a little bit more. And we'll be moving on to the next step. Now that our double exposure is done, let's group all these layers together by holding the shift key and selecting the layers and press Ctrl or Command G. We'll rename it as a composite and make duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J and turn off the visibility of the original composite group. This is only for backup purpose. And we will convert the duplicate group into a smart object. Turn back on the visibility of the background layer. Let's add some adjustment layers. First we will add a UN saturation layer and bring down the saturation to zero to make it black and white. Or otherwise you can play with the sliders to get your desired color. Let's bring down the lightness a little bit. Did you notice that the change is affecting the whole canvas but we want to, the effect to be applied to just the composite layer so what we have to do? That's right, you have to clip it to the composite layer. Now we'll add a levels adjustment layer and again clip it to give it a more contrast. After we achieve our desired results, we will again group these layers and rename it as composite final. If you can see here, there is one line showing up here, there is, this is nothing but the remains of the left out areas we masked earlier. 
To remove this, we can either use eraser tool and paint over the areas to erase it. But for that, we will be asked to rasterize a layer. You can go ahead and do it only when you are extremely sure of the size and dimension of your composite. Otherwise, once you rasterize a layer, later if you decide to increase the size of the image, it will start pixelating after a point and you will lose the details. So I would not recommend it. Otherwise, you can do this. Go to the composite layer icon and double click on it and new canvas will open with all the original layers we have worked with earlier but it doesn't have a background so we are not able to see the line properly so what we'll do is add a solid adjustment layer and bring it underneath and now our line is visible we will select the layer mask of this layer take the brush tool change the foreground color to black by pressing x on the keyboard and paint over the areas to hide it then we turn off the visibility of the solid adjustment layer and press Ctrl or Command S to save it and close the canvas. And here in the original canvas our smart object is updated automatically. And now we will be working with texts. We will click on the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas. Type in what we want and confirm it by clicking on the tick button. Hold down the shift key and holding any of these anchor points just drag to resize it. It will maintain the aspect ratio. I have selected the Montserrat font for this. You can choose whatever font you like. Keep it extra bold. Adjust the spacing between the characters. We will be making two duplicate copies of this by holding down the Alt or Option key and when the cursor changes, just drag. Double click to edit. Now select all the three layers and change the font color from here. I will select a golden yellow color. You can choose whatever you want. Group it by pressing Ctrl or Command G and rename it as Remember. Now we will change its blend mode to Multiply. Then double click on the layer here to open the layer style dialog box and in this we will work with Blend If here. Go to the underlying layer here, click and drag the slider to the left. We can also split this handle by holding down the Alt or Option key on the keyboard and dragging the handle like this to smoothen the transition. Now it seems like it has blended with the background. Hit OK when you are satisfied. We will create a duplicate copy of our text layer and double click on the layer to open the layer styles and we give it a strokes effect. For that click on the checkbox here and from here select the color of the stroke. Let's the size be 6. Click on the blending options and bring down the fill opacity to 0 and hit OK. Click and hold the original text group and bring it beneath the composite final layer. Convert both the text groups into smart object. And then holding down the command key, select the two layers and link them together so that they can be moved together. Now let's position our text. But where is the stroke text? This is here only, we just need to change the blending mode of that layer to normal. Select all the three layers and position them as desired. And lastly, let's complete our message. For the dot, we will select the ellipse tool and holding down the shift key, draw an ellipse which will be a circle. And we will be giving the same blending effect with the blend if option in the layer style. If you want to add the same effect to the shape layer also, then right click on the text layer and click on the copy layer style here and then right click on the ellipse layer and click on the paste layer style to apply the same effect. That concludes today's illustration. I hope you enjoyed both the poster itself and the whole process of creating it. If you found this video valuable, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more captivating contents like this. We can stay connected on Pinterest and Instagram as well. Links are given in the description below. I will be returning shortly with another captivating poster, so stay tuned. Until then, goodbye, take care and keep nurturing your creative spirit.